Hi, this is Jody from Puppy Winkle, and today I'm going to talk about putting some holly into your Christmas crafting. Now, the only real holly is here. And if you don't have holly, I've got some other <laughs> some other ideas. And the, uh, the exciting thing th about this is I made tags, but you could use this same idea for place cards at the table or if you're putting food out like a buffet and you want to put the names of the food out, you could use these same, same ideas for any of those things. You know, any little thing you want to make pretty around Christmas time or the holidays, um, you could use these techniques. So let's get to it. The first one I'm going to show you how to do is this one. I started with just a craft tag, craft cardstock tag, and I put, oh, and it had, I put a grommet in the, or an eyelet in the, in the top. And then I put some music and some just some brown craft paper with a grid on it. And I just use a glue stick. So that's my background. In fact, all of the tags I'm doing start just like that, uh, you know, on craft paper with these just kind of ripped elements thrown in very haphazardly. And then all I did for this one was I took a stamp. This is kind of like a background stamp. It all kind of blends together. And I took some of my Tim Holtz Distress Vintage Paper, no, Vintage Photo, and I just inked up, inked up my, pat my, um, stamp, and then I stamped it. And that kind of gives it, kind of mutes everything, it, it makes the papers kind of blend back into the to the brown of the craft base. So that's how I started that one. And then what I used, I used real holly on this. Um, although I picked it a few days ago. So right here, this is real holly. I picked it a few days ago and it got, it got kind of brown and hard, not brown, but um, kind of hard and wrinkly. And so I thought, well, that's not going to work. I can't possibly use that. But then I thought about hand lotion. And so I pulled off a bunch of pieces and rub them in hand lotion. And they are so soft and supple. I'm very excited. <laughs> so I rubbed them in hand lotion and for about maybe 15 minutes, they were kind of greasy, but then they just soaked it right in. So there's a little, little trick for using, using holly in your projects. And then I took a to and from, just kind of a little, a little thing I made out of craft paper. It has the words to and from on it. Ink around the edges a little bit. And I'm going to put this on. I think I said I used just a glue stick to put these on and that's what I'm going to use for this too. Just a glue stick. That should be enough, enough stickiness to keep it going. And I'm going to put it right about here. And that gives me some, you know, some good room up in here to do whatever I'm going to do. And then the way I attached the holly leaves, this is kind of you know, curly and a weird, sub, a weird, it's made, you know, it's not paper, 
it's like a weird thing and I wasn't sure anything would stick, but I knew um, hot glue. So I'm going to go hot glue three of these on one, two, three, and I'll be right back. Here's my tag with the hot glued holly leaves on it. And for this one, I used these little sticky dots you can get. And I glued them on because I didn't quite trust the stick. I just used some white glue to glue them on. And then I think for this one, I put a hole in here. I think for this one, I'm going to use a single big glitter brad for that, which I think that looks great. And if you really hated that it's that this shows, you could just cover it with another piece of card or tag. But I'm fine with that if that shows on the back. And then I'm just going to take a strip of fabric that's, I wouldn't say it's Christmassy, but it's got some red and green in it and some blue. It's pretty. So I thought I'd just use that and I'm going to pull it through. I doubled it and I'm going to pull the loop through and then just stick the tails through. And there you have it. So there's one kind of tag. The next one I'm going to make is this one. This one has a different background. So I'm going to show you how, actually this one and this one have the same background. So I'll show you how I made that. So I started with the same kind of background, the craft tag with some papers on it. And this one did not have an eyelet in it. So I'm going to put a, a reinforcement there after I'm done this part. So I, I forgot to say, I um, put a piece of double-sided tape onto this to hold it still. So it's taped, it's taped down to that piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to put a stencil over it. And I also taped that down so nobody's moving. And then I'm just going to go back to my Tim Holtz vintage photo ink and dabber it on, dauber it on. And I'm just going to go around and the whole thing, I'm going to dauber it everywhere and I'll be right back. So here's the big reveal. I've gone over this stencil, stencil a bunch of times and there it is. I like it because the brown parts where the where the underneath is brown, the craft paper is kind of a different color. It is a different color than the one with the with the the music because that has more white to it. And so even though I used all the same color ink, it looks different because it's on different colors of paper. But anyway, I just I think that effect is so cool. So, oh boy, it's really stuck. <laughs> so here this is. I'm just going to keep that. And I'm just going to rub this off. I don't know if all double-sided tape does that, but mine does. And it's fabulous. So no sticky residue. And then, again, we're doing this one. We, I used a reinforcement, which I'm going to just stick right there. You could use any color. I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm so monotone. <laughs> I like it neutral. And then I used, again, the to and from. I'll probably put that somewhere there. And then I have this that I took out of a magazine a real old magazine and uh, but I have this fabric I'm going to use this same fabric as my tie 
and see how it has that pretty kind of blue green in there I want to I want to bring a little of that color in on on this and I don't have that color I don't have that color ink but I'm going to use my alcohol marker because that's the only kind of marker I have and it has a ton of different colors so that's why this is so good for this and I'm just going to ink up my dauber and just very delicately let's see yeah that's a little very delicately just add a little hint of blue to this one maybe I'll go around the edge oh yeah I like that So I'm going to do something like that. So I'm going to glue those down. Here we are. I've glued these two items down and I've added my tie here. And you see how the, the blue kind of reflects over here. I like that. And then I'm going to take my alternative, <laughs> not even close to holly leaves. This is kind of like a washi tape thing with a bunch of leaves on it. And I'm just going to go, let's see, probably one here. And I'll put this one in the middle. I'll put the odd guy in the middle here. One here. One kind of here and one kind of here. And then what will I do in the center? One, one of these, or one of these. You could use a button, maybe two. One here, one here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put them down here for now because you don't need to see me gluing them, but I'm actually going to glue them down with a little drop of white glue. Something like that. I'll mess with it, because <laughs> I always do. So anyway, that's how we do this one. And then this one is started the exact same way with the same background. And then I used a little origami to make this. Now the one I'm making is four inches. I used a four inch square just because it's a little easier to see as I show you how to do it. But this one is actually a three inch square. So what I'm talking about, this is what I used. This is the four inch one and it's just, it's just scrapbook paper. It's white on the back. It would be nice. It would be nice if it had some color on the back. So that didn't show. But I didn't have any like that. But you definitely don't want to use cardstock because that would be way too heavy. So that's four by four. And you want to cut it pretty precisely. But what I used was three by three. <laughs> so anyway, you just take it. Take your square and you're going to fold it in half this way. And then you're going to fold it in half this way. So you have a center point for each of them. Then you're going to bring this down to that center point and you're going to bring this up to the center point. Then you're going to fold it in half. So this runs along the center point and this runs along the center point. So very straightforward till now. Then you're going to mark, if you're using three inches, if this is a three inch square, um, this will be one and a half inches and you're going to mark the center of it on that side and that side. I'm not sure you can see it, but I already did. And then just take a ruler 
and put it along where your dots are. This is where it gets a little fiddly. And then fold. So you're kind of folding it from half to half, if that makes sense. And then you want to bring this part down and then there you have it. I just stuck a little bit of glue back in here and then held it and you can either you can either press it down or let it stick up a little. So this one's more pressed down and this one's stuck up a little. But I fiddled with it and got it how I liked it. So anyway, those are my fake holly leaves. And so all I did, I did the background just the same as I showed you. I used my little tag there. Then I actually hot glued it. I hot glued it together just to make sure it stuck. And then I stuck three little brads through which you see on the back. Again, you could cover that if that bothers you. And that's how I did that one. What I love about making tags is that I need a lot of them. And so I can just keep playing with this, you know, mixing things up. And a lot of times they just get better and better and better as we go. And uh, I, I just love that. I love, you know, really diving in and doing the same, essentially the same thing over and over and just finding where I can take it. So I hope you give it a shot and uh, thanks for watching.